Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name is Paula Jean and this is where I will be recreating family favorite recipes and trying new recipes. So grab your paper and pencil and let's get cooking. Today we're going to be making chicken mole. Now that is a Mexican recipe that is really popular. Um, I have a daughter-in-law that served a Spanish-speaking mission in Minnesota. Can you believe it? In Minnesota. And she raves about this. And so I decided I was going to make it and dedicate this to her. Now I'm taking my recipe and I'm mixing it in half. So I'm putting a tablespoon of olive oil in this saucepan. I'll put the full recipe below. Now the full recipe is uh, serve six. So obviously mine is gonna serve about three and that'll be fine for my husband and myself. So I've got my one tablespoon of olive oil in there. I have a half of a medium chopped onion. You don't have to be too careful how you chop it because I'm going to be stick blending everything. And then to that, I'm going to add one and a half cloves of garlic. Now I'm going to cook this for a little while, just till it gets fragrant. And I've got my heat set on medium. Alright, that's good. Mine is going to be cooking a little faster because I don't have the full amount. All right, so to that I'm going to add a half of a chipotle pepper. And I'm just going to just cut it up a couple times. All right, so there's my half of chipotle pepper. And a teaspoon of adobo sauce. Uh, you must be saying, where the heck do I get that? You'll find them in a can and the peppers are in there and you just remove some of that um, sauce out of there. Now I have an 8 ounce can, pretend this is Rotel. I went in my pantry thinking I had some and I didn't have any. So I have some salsa. I have some habanero salsa and then regular mild salsa. Alright, so there's 8 ounces. All right, now this is gonna cook for about 10 minutes. All 
All right, now the recipe says to put this in a high speed blender, but I'm not going to do that. I don't like putting hot stuff in my blender because I end up making a mess of my kitchen. But I do have my little. Now, in the blender, it probably would come out a little thinner, but it's not deep enough for me to use my stick blender without spraying it all over the place. So I have one cup of chicken broth that I'm going to put in, and I'm going to blend it again. my mess here a little bit when it went out there all right good for now all right now to that I'm going to add two teaspoons of peanut butter smooth peanut butter I'm not teaspoons two tablespoons sorry all right, so I just use uh, natural peanut butter because there's no added sugar. So there's one. Now I'm going to add some chili powder. I need a teaspoon of chili powder. And cinnamon. A quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. A half a teaspoon of sea salt or kosher salt or pink Himalayan salt like what I have. And pepper, black pepper.
recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Of course, I can't measure that because I'm grinding it, so I just eyeball it. Now this is going to cook away for about 15 minutes and it's going to reduce. Alright, this has been reducing for about 10 minutes. So now the magic ingredient. I have a one ounce square of unsweetened chocolate and that is going to go right in there. And you just stir that till it's melted. Now whenever I search for a recipe that's not my own and I go to the internet, I usually try to pick uh, recipes that are five stars. And this one is rated five stars. The author is Becky Hardin, H-A-R-D-I-N. So she's the one that um, put this on the internet. I don't know if she has a blog or what. Alright, so that chocolate is melting nice. And this is going to turn your mole sauce dark. I have my heat turned all the way down on low because I tell you, this is one of the messier dishes that I've made because the sauce was so thick and it was splatting all over the place. Now this can be served with tortillas um, or brown rice or rice. I'm going to have some with the brown rice and my husband will probably have the tortillas because he loves tortillas. Once the chocolate is all melted I'm going to be putting in one pound of shredded rotisserie chicken. I went to Costco the other day and I bought a couple I shredded one of them and just froze it so I could save it for today. I think that's all melted. This smells wonderful. And for you low carbers out there, this is low carb. Okay, now that that is all melted, I've got my one pound of rotisserie chicken. And I'm gonna put that in there and just coat it all. I'm going to serve up a little bit for myself.
And let's try it. I did have this once before, quite a while ago, um, when I was living in Kansas, not Kansas, in Kentucky. I lived in Kansas also, so I get a little confused sometimes. But somebody in our church made this for one of the functions, and I had some, and I liked it, and I asked her how she made it, and she told me that it was chocolate in there, and I was surprised. And you know me, I'm not a fan of Mexican food, so that's saying something. All right. There's my mole. So let's see how this is. Oh, this is very good. Spicy. A little bit spicy. I told you I used a little bit of habanero salsa. But I give it a thumbs up. It'll be awesome with rice or in a tortilla. So Becky, this is for you. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a recipe. Go out and enjoy this beautiful day and stay safe.